All right, we're gonna have a little video here of uh, some driving in um, Albania, and uh, that is Arta's door. She is our language teacher. Um, developed a book in language. It's uh, really pretty phenomenal. So, um, a little bit of commentary here on what we're gonna do and um, how we're gonna go. <clears throat> so first of all, uh, and here, we have these fantastic bike lanes here, very bike friendly. Had a president that was very interested in um, health and and I uh, was interested in the bike lanes. Uh, but as you can see there, that four ways, um, that's what cars do now that they don't have a parking at the side of the road. They just stop right in the middle of the lane and everybody has to go around them. But you know what? This is Albanian, so everybody just kind of follows through with that and they're happy with it. So, uh, uh, yeah. So this is a road called Ruga Dibris. I've never seen a sign for this road. Um, but that's what it's called, Ruga Dibris. We're going to go up here to the Kritjusor, which is the uh, stoplight, uh, or the intersection, and then the semaphore, which is the stoplight. Um, okay. So we're going to change a little bit, show you that building. That building there is called the Via Goldi Cafe, and uh, that was a big cafe during the communist times. Uh, we would go to the basement, and uh, they had some uh, rooms down there in the basement. That's this guy. So as you can see, traffic is quite backed up here. Um, in this city here, uh, it's not a huge city, but it uh, takes a long time to drive around different places. Um, so a lot of times people, they come to the city just to uh, ride a bicycle. And so that's what we're doing. We ride a lot. Um, I'm perfectly happy with that. I love to ride. love to see the world from the, the back of a bicycle. All right, we're going to turn left up here at this intersection, just trying to figure out a best way to get across. Uh, and so, stop here, elderly lady. Uh, so in 20 years, traffic has um, significantly in, uh, uh, increased. All right, traffic is not backed up. Oh, man. Light will change here in four, three, two, one. Okay, watch out for cyclists passing. People. All right. So this road sign we're trying to find, you can see it right above the taxi there. Um, <coughs> that's the name of the road. No sign out front, just the name of that road. So this is a road that heads to Pizarro Re. And uh, a lot of little marketplaces. Now they have to rent that space to have those markets. Um, used to be there was a lot of markets down by the street. And it created a lot of congestion and problems. So the government um, said that they could only do them out of little garages like this. Or they had rented spaces they could rent from the government. Uh, especially downtown. We won't go downtown to see that today. We're going to stay here on this road. Try not to make you sick with all the vibration, but anyhow. One of the other things here is that, um, yes, there's a lot of cycling and it's kind of crazy. Um, but as you can see, nobody wears helmets here. So if you want to identify yourself as a foreigner, you wear a helmet. Uh, these little shops just come in with what you want and they dig around. Nope, oh, nope, don't have it. Uh, bartering here. Usually you don't really barter for items. You kind of just um, ask them if they have a discount. Um, so they don't, this is not a culture where you do lots of haggling over prices. You can get a little bit of a discount, but not too much haggling. Okay, so now we're here in Pazara Reroad. This road we're crossing is also the road where the clinic is on. So it had turned left there, it would have went up by the clinic. But uh, we're not going there today. We're going to kind of keep going down through the marketplace here. Um, <coughs> Just seen a guy there, it looked like I had a basal cell carcinoma on the side of his head. So there's the open air market. 
these people have their little booths and place things out and just sell them. Rent the space. It's a community. Um, different rules here. You're not supposed to pick stuff up unless you're really wanting to buy it. Um, and you don't talk, compare like the items or if it's broken. You just kind of look at them. That heads the feast fish market. I love the smell of fish. Okay, so we're going to go up here. Up ahead is the Stephen Center. I don't know if you can see that sign or not. Uh, and that's a mission organization that decided to make a place for foreigners to come to. They also have a hotel associated with it. And this is the um, uh, roundabout here. We'll kind of run around the roundabout once so you can see it. Wonderful fruit market over there. Looks like it's closed for now. Uh, police, it'll stop you. <clears throat> All right. Um, over there is where men come to, and they'll have this uh, fish or er, sheep's head. He's cleaning his grill right now. But usually they have a sheep's head on there. Four or five men will um, get a sheep's head together and some beer and they will have conversation and eat the meat. Okay, so we're gonna cross here, try not to get ran over by the police van. We're gonna go down here. All right. Let's see, where is that road? No, no, ah, oh, here it is. All right, so this is the road. Oh, and there's the sign, we're clear up there. Alright, we'll me. So this is a common walking path. Never even knew it was here. Most of those people that sweep the streets and stuff are Roma. Um, some of the Roma do get jobs, have homes, rent places. Most of them um, are nomadic still though. Um, there's a Barber, when they finish with um, giving you a haircut, they hit you in the back of the head and say, Mission Dead. Okay, Let's see if we can find this building here. Uh -huh. There's Keisha Emanuel. Come here. Good deal. Uh, I'm not sure what that lady was wanting. She's asking me what I'm doing or where I'm going. <laughs> Good deal. find when you get nervous the uh, foreign language really flies out of your brain. Interesting. This must have been a thorough street at one time. Everybody knows it. <laughs> a little tight. You can hear the shocks squeak in there. That's because there's so many potholes. Man, you surely use your shocks and your suspension. Heavily, heavily used. Oh, pigeons. donate money here and you might get a name a road after you Ruga George W. Bush a little tight sometimes trying to get my toes ran over <laughs> okay here we go Okay, there we go. We turn left up here, 
goes down to Tanner's Ridge. We're going to go straight across though because we're going to the American Embassy. So this road goes down. There's a big old mosque over here. To the left. People are on the way open. That's the Monarch Hotel up there to our left. It's a fantastic hotel. Good place to do studies at. And that's it for today.